Denver Broncos Mile High View, no commercials, and as always, no bullshit. So, uh, my overall feeling is that the, on this, uh, what we've learned, what I've learned, while watching this uh, game, uh, is as far as the first unit goes, I'm, um, uh, am happy with the direction it's going in, um, but my, uh, my whole eight and eight stance definitely stands. Uh, <clears throat> let's get into the defense really quick. Uh, the defense, yes, looks solid. Uh, <laughs> Garoppolo, <laughs> Garoppolo, that guy has a long way to go. Uh, and if this guy, you know, I don't think he's going to be ready by the season. I think it's going to take him a season under his belt to really get back into form, or at least at midseason, but uh, he's got a long way to go. Uh, he better get on the fast track. But anyway, uh, when it comes to the passing, it looks like the Denver, there's your number one team against pass, you know, passing, passing teams. But, you know, again, I don't know if San Francisco is really the, the ultimate test either. Uh, for that, but what I am concerned about is uh, the running game. Uh, the first unit struggled at stopping the run, and it was only for the fact that Kyle Shanahan, like his dad, doesn't know when he should. You know, well, maybe that maybe the the idea was to give Garoppolo just give him reps, even though they probably should have ran the ball. And that probably would have helped him out a lot more because, quite frankly, the Broncos weren't that great at stopping the run in 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 that uh, that mess that uh, their first unit was involved with offensively. I thought San Francisco was doing a good job running, but they wanted Garoppolo to just throw, throw, throw. So, and uh, they paid the price for that. So, I'm still uh, uh, when it comes to running the ball, uh, maybe that with the pass rush, they can work on this tight end situation. That may be the bright spot. Now let's get on with the, uh, the offense. Um, uh, Joe Flacco looks pretty good, except I will say this. I'm a bit disappointed that he's uh, had red zone. You know, he hasn't been able to do well in the red zone. He, I would like to see him at least score a touchdown in their next game. The San Francisco, oh, by the way, the run blocking looks abysmal in this game anyway. This game looked abysmal. They have to do a much better job run blocking. And this is the thing is that San Francisco was out some of their defensive weapons, particularly Bosa and DeFord, but we still, I think the jury's out on the offense a bit. But I, I am happy to see Joe Flacco playing like he is, but I will say this too. I said, buyer beware about Joe Flacco getting hurt. And I could see the way he's getting out there, how he's going to take a beating this season. So this brings us to Locke. Locke, I really am impressed with, I was very impressed with him in the beginning. But he started to do dumb rookie things, which can be coached out of him. But you know, I'm not quite ready to make my ECRO tape. You know, I made a tape. Why are we wasting time on this guy? Locke is starting to turn me around. However, he's got to stop the uh, the rookie boneheadedness. Uh, he started out really good. He should have just stayed with that page. Not overthink it. Don't try to do too much. Stay, you know... People really, it was, Drew, it was Locke himself that I need to manage. And that's absolutely correct. Every, and, and this is the thing. That was the big thing. You know, game manager. Oh, no. You, how dare you call our quarterback a game manager? Oh, no. But uh, Shanahan, you know, you know, all this Shanahan worshiping going on. Shanahan would be the first to tell you. Peyton Manning, Brady are the kings of management. They manage you all the way to scores, manage you to score, manage you to score. They're masters at it. What Drew Locke is 
is really lacking is patience in the pocket. Uh, it's it started to crumble. He became, started to become more and more impatient. I realized that the the offensive line was shit. I well, I will address that in a second. The offensive line. I realized the offensive line was shit, but he, in a way that's a good thing, because uh, because you got to learn how to step up. You have to learn how to hang in there. There was a receiver downfield. I saw uh, he had one. I think it was a sack, or maybe he ran. No, maybe he ran, or no, he short. What he did is he short threw it. It was a short throw. That's what it was. He threw it short on the other side, on our side, or the offensive side of the the ten yard. You know, it was like a, you know, you know, it would have been a, it would have been a fourth and seven or whatever. But he had a guy getting open. He could have hit him if he just would have been a little bit patient in the pocket. So those kind of things come in time. I realize that. I am starting to warm up that he's a hard worker. He really gets what he needs to do. But, again, he just got worse and worse as the game got, went on. And that's what I've seen with him at college. He's got to be somehow taught to settle himself down. He's got to sell himself down. The problem is, I just hope that can be taught out of him. But even if he gets, say, they, he starts becoming more of a pro, the game's on the line. I mean, the big game's on the line. The pressure's on. Is he going to go and revert to that, try to force things, try to speed things up, and not be the game manager a Brady or a, a, uh, a Manning is in that sense? Where, you know, he just lets, you know, waits to the last second to maybe throw that pass, throw it away, or just do the smart thing. Even do a self-sack if he has to, you know, to live to see the next, to, to see the next day. That's what I want out of a quarterback. I don't want just a guy who can throw a deep ball and everybody cheers, but then goes to shit when it, when it really counts. So I got to see, I got to see lock settle down before i'm ready to make i'll I'll eat crow on why are we wasting time on drew lock now i want to talk about the offensive line i was this game they didn't do a good job run blocking just it was it was bad run blocking was bad uh i'm figuring that can be corrected but if it if it's i mean like i said bosa and uh DeFord wasn't even in there. They were depleted in their on their line, and yet the the uh, the Broncos couldn't couldn't uh, run block. They did a good job pass blocking, and I can even forgive Bowles for his ten yard penalty. It wasn't all that bad, and the Forty ers were doing more egregious holding than Bowles did on that play, um, and they didn't get called for it. But uh, the bottom line is, uh, if you notice that after the backups, uh, offensive linemen are pretty bad. They were just getting their ass handed to them. Uh, this is the second and third string offensive linemen. San Francisco is just handing their ass to them time and time again. Their second and third string. Yeah, just a uh, lot of work to go. It's, I think we're the, they're going into a positive direction, but there's a long way to go in my book. It looks like Sanders is healthy, which is great, but, you know, a knock on wood, you know, hopefully I'll owe somebody 50 bucks so he'll stay healthy the whole year. I wouldn't count on it, but it would be nice to see.